because I am correcting them from the mistake they had made. Isn't this going to end your friendship with Britain? I don't mind uh, ending. What, what are you giving me? What is more you are giving me? British actually deceived me last year, giving me 10 million pounds. They never give up to now. When I had really very critical problem of finance up to now, now I don't want that man again. And do you think you're a tough man? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am very tough, yes. But I wanted to ask you, are you not afraid of uh, interviewing the conqueror of British Empire as you are British? You are not afraid of... Israeli are criminals and uh, they are not trusted people. They don't tell the world the truth. They were taken to Palestine as refugees and then they changed Palestine to become a state of Israel by force of arms given to them by Americans and the British. But I must make it absolutely truth. The reason why I chased them from Uganda was because of the economy of Uganda. Uganda was going to be bankrupt. That is the reason why I chased away the Israelis. If I am to prepare the war against Israel completely, no, I don't want very many army, air force and the navy, just very few, and uh, strike inside Israel and uh, move people from the whole border towards Israel. I think the situation will be very difficult and uh, very different with the paratrooper, with everything. Yes, because you got to get there by paratrooper and also bombing by airplanes and having few squadron of suicide who are determined to be suicide and I think that is already in progress and they are practicing. The suicide squadrons are already in practice. And will there be Ugandans in those battalions? I don't know, but any volunteer, even in France, French volunteer, they are welcome also. <laughs> but I welcome any volunteer all over the world. Even the Japanese, even the Vietnamese are there in these squadrons. It's, but they are now in training. They are undergoing training now three months. So what capability does your Air Force have now? I can't tell you any secrecy because you might pass this information to South Africa, which I am actually aiming to destroy Johannesburg and the and uh, Cape Town. This is my aim. This, uh, this, I'm very serious about this. Now advance. When you feel it, feel the helicopter. Advance. If Rhodesia and South Africa cannot accept immediate independence to the majority rule in these two countries, including Namibia, then we must make really face them militarily because we are capable of fighting against them, of liberating that country.